we're going to create a trigger. But here's where it gets pretty cool. Um, in our GA4 event tag, what we did is use this custom event that basically launched a GA4 event whenever any time, whenever any form was submitted. And that served as a catch-all tag for all form submissions on your website. But in this instance, now with Google Ads, what we want to know is specifically whenever this form was submitted. So if you remember in our HubSpot form listener, one of the things that we passed as a variable was the form ID. So what we want to do is create a trigger that listens for that event, uh, the HubSpot form success, but with the with the stipulation of it only fires when the HubSpot form ID matches the ID of this form. So to do that, we're gonna click on custom event because we're still triggering the same event as HubSpot form success. And you wanna be sure that this is exactly as it is in the event listener. So it's all lowercase HubSpot-form-success. But now we wanna set this toggle to some custom events. And what you see is that Tag Manager automatically filled in this variable right here. Um, of course, you could listen to other, to other variables or other uh, kind of uh, events or different things. But for our instance, we're just going to use the form guide because that's the most exact and precise way to measure these form um, submissions.